I want for block all. I only want you to take skulls, bones, shells, teeth, horns, hooves, hair, and wool. Uh, we will take uh, fresh war hide as well. I think that's about the only thing I really want to take. Yeah, that's that's good enough. So you'll take fresh raw hide as well, but otherwise you won't take any body parts. Okay. Now, everyone who... There should be no idlers, because everyone is set to haul in this fort. And I'm happy with that. I am a little bit concerned about the plump helmet situation, though. Can we uh, get some more plump helmets? Uh, we can't. Okay, well, that's fine then. We'll wait on that. Let me quickly check on the kitchen. Make sure you're not cooking our pigtails. You can't. That's okay. Plump helmets? No. Potato plants? We got some? Oh, okay. Prickle berries? Don't cook those. Just brew them. Quarry bush leaves? You can happily cook those. Um, actually, leaves, I believe you can, you can grind them in a kern. I was literally doing the grinding... <laughs> like mortar and pestle style grinding action in my with my hands then to try and try and express what I was trying to say. Uh, sweet pot, prickleberry, along the grass. Okay, that's not too bad. Drinks. We've got a fair bit of drinks, and we've got a lot of meat, fish, and other. That's that's fantastic. We should be able to cook decent meals from that. I'm happy with that. Very happy indeed. Loom, Colofia, uh, sorry, Tanner, and Leather Worker are the ones that we're going to go for. Um, we don't need any of the others yet. For the immediate future, we don't need them. We want more blocks, more and more blocks, always more blocks. All right, how's everything going for you guys? Are you doing all right? Everyone is hauling, right. Okay, there are some people that I don't want hauling, namely, you guys, I want your skills all turned off. So uh, there, and also with you. Also, my plant smiths shouldn't be either. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, come to think of it, about the only thing I don't want you doing is carrying stone and wood, really. So how about I just turn those off for those roles which I feel are in important enough to need plenty of time to do their jobs. There we go, that's fine. That should uh, speed things up just a tad for us. Now we're soon going to be only able, well, we are now only able to drink from uh, the, uh, the booze that we make, which is a little bit frightening. Uh, craft source workshop is where do I make the bowls? Make leather crafts? No, 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 no. Engraved memorial slab? No. Shell, bone, wood, rock, mug, pot, jug, pot and jugs. I can't remember which is which. We're gonna need some nest boxes though, so we're gonna get two nest boxes for now. But if chat could let me know whether it's jugs or pots I need to make out of rock, uh, out of rock um, which one's for a bin and which one's for like food, which one acts like a barrel and which one acts like a bin, I would be most, most grateful. Carletto, hello Avak, hello Carletto. Garoon, pretty sure it's pots. It is pots for food. Thank you very much. See, this is why having everyone around is a fantastic idea, because then I get immediate help. We'll make lots of pots. There we go. Thank you very, very much for that. Jugs are used for money, Dr. Moriarty um, states. Okay, fair enough. Pots are basically barrels, but heavier, Gracknork points out. Very true, very true. And jugs are stacked in bins, chosen one lets me know. Now, is there an equivalent to bins that you can make out of rocks? 
Kitsune Zeta. All right, show of hands, who has the wiki open right now? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, how's the excavation going? It's not going so well, I don't think. How are all of the... Ooh, dusting of snow. Well, oh dear. Bent grass. Okay, we've still got grass there. That's the main thing. Right, where is that pasture? Right, okay, I see. Build, construction, wall. And we want this to start being built now out of... There we go, about there, I believe. Rock blocks. Granite blocks, make. Oh, this is fantastic, you get so many blocks. We've only gone through a couple of pieces of rock, but we've got so many blocks out of it. Now, we're going to need to uh, fortify this area quite a lot, I imagine. Going to need some blocks for this as well. And another couple. One there. One there. And we'll wait on the rest. But that should uh, give us a little bit to work with. There is an attack. Kira is fighting. Dog is fighting. Okay, let's uh, see. How did that go? Okay. Did anyone actually manage to land a blow on the Kia? Really, loser man? You coward. I must withdraw! It's a Kia! I'm so afraid! Oh, mind you, you are a dwarf. You're a very diminutive little guy. I suppose a Kia would, would kind of be frightening. But there we go. Right, where are... Construct rock blocks. Construct building. Construct... Make a nest box. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get everything moving. Ah, oh, it's glorious seeing zero idlers! Stuff is progressing. People aren't vomiting all over themselves. Oh, it's, it's so grand. It's so lovely. People are building things. Oh, it's fantastic. Malam Sui, Amak, I watch all of your vids. Not a stalker. Anyone who has to put not a stalker in uh, parenthesis at the end of their statement probably is. I'm just saying, that's like... And thou dost protest too much. Many thanks indeed to those hosting the stream. I'm being hosted by three channels. This is quite quite wonderful. Joyful Rogue, Tank 090, and Awesome Sales Games. Wow. Thank you very much, everyone. Suspended the construction of the rock wall? What? Why? What kind of madness is this? Don't suspend it. Oh, you can't get to it. Okay. I understand. Maybe it's not as mad as I thought. But I do kind of need people to uh, finish up some of their other jobs first. Make rock a nest box. What rock are you trying to make the nest box out of? Are you literally wandering all the way up there to bring down... Granite or something. Oh, thank goodness. Someone is carving out that area. Good, good, good. Right, let's uh, build workshop. We want a tanner's shop. We want it about here, I would say. Make it out of granite. We want a leatherworks. We want that about there. Made out of granite, of course. There we go. Now, again, for those who are worried that I am building a little bit too close to my entrance, ultimately, I don't want this to be where we set up it's just it's going to have to do for now whilst i'm uh, getting things in place and we finally want a loom i'm just going to use the granite here right now instead of granite blocks just so i can get things on the move uh actually what did i just see i'm fairly certain i just saw something really cool loads of bauxite blocks i like bauxite because it's a different color very well we are going to make all of those buildings out of different things uh first Leatherworks, place you there. Bauxite block. With the loom, you're going to go down here. Bauxite blocks. Obvious shop, there. You guessed it. Bauxite blocks. And finally, the tanner's shop. Bauxite blocks. Ah, this is glorious. 
Fantastic. Color coordination, everyone. Master Mischief, I must sleep now. Thanks for the stream. Have a goodbye chat. Kapoi! Take care, Master Mischief. And yes, once again, this will be going up on YouTube. Worry not. Alright, now hopefully, the only thing is, we don't actually have anyone set up for those labours, so... Um... I would at least like you to tan. Since you're butchers, both of you are set to tanning duty. That's the only thing I really want. I don't want to waste the skin, basically. I, I dislike waste. Efficiency is everything in space. It is also everything in Dwarf Fortress. If you can't be efficient, what kind of Dwarf Ministrator are you? Oh dear. Have we run out of seeds? Please tell me that isn't the case. Cave weed we've still got. Dimple cup we've still got. Prickleberry. Oh dear lord. Um, plump helmets we've got loads of. Pigtails. A decent amount. Potato prickleberries. Quarry bush leaves. Hmm. Oh, we actually seem okay with that. Can we perhaps get some... No, we can't get any plants. Ah. Okay, well, fair enough. We'll let that pass then. Crimson Mori. When Abak uses the in-game labor manager instead of Dwarf Therapist, it hurts so, me so much. There are many people who find Dwarf Therapist painful because it's just this glaring bright white screen against the otherwise muted dark colors of Dwarf Fortress. I actually find it just really convenient not to have to switch programs all the time because then I would have to set up a key to change my view to that program. I'm not simply capturing a monitor, I'm capturing the actual Dwarf Fortress window. So uh, I would have to uh, adjust everything to, uh, to deal with that, which would be quite a pain. All right, how's, how's all of that going down there? It looks like they're doing an okay job-ish of getting things dug out. Uh, food is being stored. I would really love it if some of those pots would get moved down there, but uh, they're working on the pots now, it seems. I need more blocks, though. All the bl blocks. Chosen one, I do appreciate using DF hack, Avak. I do too. I, it's, for the longest time, I was unwilling to learn how to use it, and that was a bit silly of me, really. But now that I have learned how to use it, I actually find it quite convenient. Alright, as soon as we've got some extra blocks... Ooh, winter is upon you! Oh, drat. We really badly need lots and lots and lots of drink. Because we cannot, it seems plant anything more until we get more plump helmets but uh, unfortunately because they're not brewing we're not stocking up the plump helmets which is a bit of a pain oh drat really oh you silly dwarves can't believe you've done this to yourselves really I, I genuinely can't you've, you've you've made it nigh impossible for yourselves to get around to that I just realized there was something. I missed a trick there. Damn. I really missed a trick. Hmm. Oh well. What I was going to say is if I'd undermined under those walls, then there would have been no way to climb up onto them. That could still be something I could look into doing. For example, if I were to dig this out, around there, then there would just be a, a permanent lip underneath. They wouldn't be able to get up there. Likewise, if I dug up to here and then across from here along, once again, wouldn't be able to easily get up there. Maybe don't need to go that far. 
because the wall will be there. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. No, actually, we will go that far. That'll that'll expedite me making this area safe. I like that. Okay, Alastair Dunkirk. Good evening, Avak and Chad. I'm stuck at work doing overtime, so I missed m most of the stream. Did he start over? This doesn't look like the last playthrough. Unfortunately, the last area was... Uh, was uh, It fell to the undead, and, well, I blame the slime more than anything. But, uh, yes, it is gone, alas. Right, we're going to have to do a little bit of work here, unfortunately. D, I need to take away this wall. I'm going to have to build a floor there to get in there to build that corner section, because the doors are going to have a lot of difficulty otherwise. How are things going in here? It's going all right. I do wish my uh, stonesmiths would be doing a little bit more work. Oh, sleeping on the floor, probably. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, you're fine otherwise. Can we get some plants? I feel that we need more and more and more plants. So gather all of the plants right now. I think that would be fine. Also, we may have built one of those rock pots by now. Yes, it looks like we have. Go ahead and start brewing from plants. Go, go, go. Gaming Lord 2. Hi, Avak. I'm supposed to be at school now. Instead, I'm watching you. Uh, that's not good. You should go to school, man. You'll catch the dumbs if you don't. Christoph Brewer, have can you tried the Sound Sense mod? It perfectly simulates insanity during seizures. I have I've heard people using it, and I think it would drive me slowly insane. I'm afraid. So uh, that's that's one I I have avoided, just because of the sound of the insanity. It's like oh, my brain's melting a little bit. Carletto, uh, sorry. Yeah, Carlette P049. Avak, how long are you going to be playing Dwarf Fortress? Until the end of the stream, I imagine. Though it's coming up to about that time that we need another tea break. Probably uh, another 10 minutes or so. There we go. We've got some, uh, some brewing happening right now. We also want some easy meals to be made, if possible. And the plants are immediately being planted. Uh, the seeds are immediately being taken. I approve. We're probably going to be okay for everything else. If we absolutely have to, I can butcher some of the animals. I wouldn't want to, but uh, my needs must. All right, build construction floor. We want some rock blocks. Granite block there. And some more floors. There we go. Granite blocks. And... You know, I'm thinking... Right, we're going to uh, cancel some of the work that I've started here. We're going to pull this back. Actually, I do want that part dug away. So the wall is there, and then a space underneath. The wall we're going to build is going to be here. Space underneath. To about here. I believe that's where we've got the wall. Wall will be one out from that. So down here. Ah, dread. Not quite. Not quite in the right place. Okay, we'll just have to expand it out a bit then. But uh, we want this dug back all the way down here. At least. Actually, instead of doing this, let's channel it. If we set up a channel... Make it three wide, and three wide down here as well. And then just channel all the way up there. That way this area is completely disconnected from the area below. And up here we can just channel this area away. Now there is a little bit of risk involved in this. Uh, in fact, enough risk that I would rather you guys not work on this section until the channeling is done above it because I know you're you're very eager and also very stupid There we go. Let's get him back to work okay. 
Thanks for it. Hey, Ava, have you got any music by Simon Swerwe? Uh, I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name, and I don't think I have, I'm afraid. Gaming Lords 2, what is this game, Avic? This is Dwarf Fortress Gaming Lords 2. It is a roguelike, well, fortress management, like city management kind of game. Fantastically deep and unfortunately complex, but uh, if you can get into it, it's probably the best game of its type. There we go, here are the, the rock pots. A prickleberry wine pot and a barley wine pot. Ah, oh, glorious. Uh, can we make any more? No. I was hoping that we would be able to get some plump helmet wine, honestly, but uh, apparently not. We need more plump helmety bits. There we go, another pot. Uh, still can't do anything yet. Drat. Well, hopefully our uh, plant gatherers are out there gathering plants, so should all be okay soon. Scruffy Badface, Avak is the Dwarf God. Oh my lord, I hope not. Dwarf God is a fickle and angry God. I like to think I'm a little bit more approachable. Right, okay. Now, the reason I had to build this floor is because they need to be standing on something in order to build a wall. And so there was a little bit of a, uh, of a problem there. However, to build a wall, there can't be a floor. So it's a bit of a pain. But, uh, right, build construction floor. Now we've done that, we can go ahead and build granite block floors along here so let's get uh, four granite block floors there some more here as well and then we want two there as well we are actually going to have to take the floor out a little bit further on that side as it happens but uh, we should be okay now once the oh, i'm gonna have to do the same here as well Drat. i have to build a floor out in the corner in order to get to it, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's expand this out one less, please. There we go. Build this area out there, and we'll use a load of granite blocks for it. And then we'll start building up the wall on the other side of our animal pasture. Now, the thing is, I've got yaks in there that I wasn't expecting to have. And that worries me a little bit, I've got to be honest with you. But we now have our little zone in here, so at the very least, I can go ahead and zone this area for, well, first, build, I would like a kennel. Where's the kennel? Kennel, 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 kennel. Animal trap, no, no, no. Is there a workshop? Kennel? No? Hmm. Uh, animal trap. Let's see, where are you, kennel? There we are. Oh, it's actually K as well. Okay. Well, we'll place... The kennel can be up here. Yes, we'll, we'll have this set up like this. So we'll use granite blocks. And then we will have the farmer's workshop just here. Again, out of granite blocks. There we are. Once all of that is set up, well, actually, while it's being set up, in fact, let's get a nice big old area for our livestock, which does not require grazing, which means our dogs, our cats, our uh, boars, I could even set up our turkey hens here, but I'd rather not, actually. I'd rather them be in a room that I can lock. The reason for that being that I can then restrict access to their eggs to allow them to breed. Uh, let's get that room set up now as it happens. We'll just have it built off. It doesn't need to be a very big room. And we'll build it off uh, the side here. Let's uh, pull that down. Just to about there. And we'll build this room in here. There we go. That should be fine. Then we can have plenty of eggs made for us. In fact, we'll dig that back just slightly. Let's 
more than enough room in this, in this room for quite a lot of egg gathering, I think. Yeah, that should be good. Right, there's going to be a lot of work for our stonesmiths, I'm afraid. Dion, Avak, can you change the stream name from Slaves to Armok to Dwarf Fortress to Slaves to Avak to Dwarf Fortress? I wish I could, Dion. That is the most amazing suggestion I've ever heard. I only wish it were possible. Malum, sweet. Avak, do you like butter? Uh, yeah, I, I use it to cook with. Christoph Brewer, Avak, Simon Swearer, I'm really sorry I'm butchering that guy's name so much, is a musician who made unofficial soundtracks to Dwarf Fortress, which are insanely good and free. Oh, well, in that case, I, I may check them out and see if I can add them into the uh, Dwarf Fortress playlist I've got. Thank you very much for, for giving me the nod in that direction. Okay, let's see. It looks like all of my pigs have been moved in there. That's fantastic. I'm very pleased. We also need to set up uh, someone to have training. Now, I'm going to set up our plant smiths for now with animal training. Ultimately, I would prefer there to be a specific ranger style um, sorry, like rancher style job for that, but uh, we'll go with that for now. Construction walls, let's get some more of this built. So we want granite blocks again. And here. And then lots of granite blocks. All of the granite blocks, in fact. Leave not a single granite block unturned. There we go. And then down here as well. Fantastic. Right, let's get all of that set up. We are very close to having this area walled off. It won't be secure until we've got the walls quite a lot higher because otherwise enemies up on these mountains will be able to just archer our poor defenseless animals and I would, I would be very, very sad. Very sad because from up there, they'd have clean line of sight just straight down. It, 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 would, it would make me, make me weep. In fact, that's almost good enough of a reason for my dwarves to go out there and level that mountain block by block by block. Ooh. Garoon's cooking masterpieces. Well done, Garoon. I approve. Okay, there we go. We've got the animal training set up. I'm pleased. And... Looks like the rock blocks are on the move. Right, okay, well in that case, let's get more rock blocks made. And really, I would very much like this room to be dug out. I, I mean, seriously guys, why is it taking so long? Who is, why? Oh no, someone is now digging, okay. I approve. Oh, you're digging in the wrong place though. Ah, oh, drowned. Oh well. Again, not much I can do. This time, though, we now have the area ready to be uh, dug down, so let's get that sorted. And in here as well. Take all of that down. Uh, in fact, don't worry about digging that part down. Why am I doing that? That's kind of crazy of me. It's very crazy of me. That is exactly not what I want to be doing. So don't do it. Right, while you're here, get rid of these floors, and then we should be ready to uh, completely seal in this area. Now the problem is I can't easily see how much grass you've got. Um, there's dense grass. There's probably enough food there for our pastured grazers, I would imagine, for now. Hopefully they'll breed soon, and uh, we can start getting some uh, some meat from their offspring, at the very least. Right, build construction wall. And here as well. And then all the way down here as far as you can go. That'll do. Granite blocks. There we are. 
very nearly finished that area. Which I'm very, very pleased to see. We are going to need some sort of internal storage area, though I feel, man, as much as I dislike the idea of making a wheelbarrow, I think I kind of need one. Uh, make two. And then set this place to have both of those wheelbarrows. Uh, set that to two. That way, once the wheelbarrows are there... Oh, thank goodness! We've got a lamb! Oh, glorious. But uh, once those wheelbarrows are set up, then uh, moving the stone around into that stockpile is going to be so much, so much faster. Um, in fact, I don't want this place taking from anywhere. Uh, let's see. I would like you to give to this workshop. This way... This workshop will only take the stone from that location. So my uh, my masons will stop walking off somewhere stupid to collect their stone. More golds! Hi, Avak! No work for me today, so I get to watch you live! Fantastic, more golds! Luzerman, Avak, how much work would it take to make an underground tunnel and place a tower on top of that mountain? Probably not that much, actually. But, oh, we've got, we've got puppies as well. Straight lamb puppies. Oh, this fort is fantastic. Let's have a look. We've got two puppies. Both of them are males. And we've got a, uh, a male lamb as well. A male calf. A male calf, too. Okay, well, uh, I think that is a pretty good point for us to uh, go ahead and take a quick tea break. My throat is feeling very, very dry. So I shall be back in about a solid, hmm, I'd say five minutes, but it'll probably be a little bit faster than that if I can make it any faster. It depends uh, on the cattle. I did think ahead this time, and I have made sure that uh, I have the tea, all, all sorry, the uh, water all ready and uh, filtered, so it shouldn't take me too long. But uh, I shall see you in a few moments. Thank you. 